Now is the winter of our discontent. We glorious some by this son of York. And now our brows bound with victorious wreaths are bruised on the What? Oops. <laughs> Does this audience have any idea what we're singing about? King Henry the Sixth. Pretender to the throne, and God willing, the last Lancastrian red rose. Prince Edward. <laughs> that brave Prince Edward. Your Majesty. <laughs> a sweeter and lovelier gentleman, framed in the prodigality of nature, young, wise, valued, and no doubt right royal. The spacious world cannot again afford. I that am rudely stamped and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling nymph. I that am curtailed of fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed, <laughs> unfinished, sent before my time into this breathing world, scarce half made up, and that so lamely and unfashionable that dogs bark at me as I halt by them. What, is he in his bed? He is. He is. He is. <coughs> yes, Your Majesty. Clarence. Clarence. The tower. He's in the tower. Pardon. Pardon. <coughs> Pardon, Clarence in the tower. I'll get on it right away, sir. <laughs> he cannot live, I hope, and must not die. Tell Clarence be packed with post horse up to heaven. Alien. To urge his hatred more to Clarence with lies well steeled with weighty arguments. And if I fail not in my deep intent, Clarence hath not another day to live. Ah! Ah! Rivers, and Gray, Gray and Rivers, rivers get poor Richard the dreadful sinners. Gray and Rivers, Rivers and Gray will never see another day. We'll never see another day. Oh, no. Oh, no, not, not the bag. No, no, no not in the bag. Please, what please. The oh, no, please. I can't breathe. Ah! Ah! Scattered at the bottom of the sea. Scattered at the bottom of the... What, shall I stab him as he sleeps? No, no. Then he'll say twas done cowardly when he wakes. Why, then he shall never wake till the great judgment day. Why, then he will say we stabbed him sleeping. Uh, art thou afraid? Not to kill him but to be damned for killing him. scattered at the bottom of the sea. A chorus! A chorus! My king devour! A chorus! My lord, will you go unto the tower? My lord protector needs will have it so. Oh, I shall not sleep in quiet in the tower. Why, what do you fear? Marry, my uncle Clarence angry ghost. <laughs> my granddad told me he was murdered there. <laughs> <laughs> I fear no uncle's dead. No, none that live, I hope. And if they live, I hope I need not fear. Oh, letter from me from across the sea from huh, Bertrand Russell, <laughs> 1933. Our world has sprouted a warped sense of security and a weird sense of humanity. Weapons are sheltered like treasures and children are exposed to incineration. Oh, happy were England would this gentle prince take on himself the sovereignty thereof. But sure, 
I fear we ne'er shall win him to it. I fear we ne'er shall win him to it. What is your grace's pleasure? I fear I have done some offense, for never yet one hour in his bed have I enjoyed the golden dew of sleep. I don't think we should kill the kids. We have to kill the kids. It's in the play. Oh, we can change the play. No, we can't. That's what Shakespeare wrote. Oh. Eric, Eric, Bob, focus on the puppet, not the puppeteer, OK? <laughs> Look, Bob, if the kids die, it's, 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 it's bad, OK? It goes too deep. It goes too far. If the kids die, we all die. That's right, Buckingham, we all die. Besides, we're only puppets. I beg your pardon. Rough cradle for such little pretty one. Foolish sorrow bids your stones bear. 